Google Bard, which is the AI chatbot from Google, just got the biggest update. Now, there is a brand new AI model that is driving Google Bard and it's called Gemini. It's super easy to access right inside Google Bard. So, in this video, I'm going to show you top five different ways to get the most out of Google Bard. Right now, it's powered by Gemini. I would include some prompts that will be useful for you. Now, let's go to Google Bard. Let me show you how to use it. If you already have a Google account, you can access Google Bard. But if you don't have a Google account, then you might want to create one because you can't access Google Bard if you don't have a Google account. To use Google Bard, just go to bard.google.com and you will automatically be logged in. So this is the interface of Google Bard and it's so easy to use. But before I start showing you how to use the perfect prompt to get the best results, let me first show you some of my favorite features of Google Bard. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to go to this extensions tab. So Google Bard basically has these things to give it more information and more ability so right now there is five of them as you can see it has the google flight google hotel maps now these are related to travel but the two i really wanted to focus on are the google workspace and youtube so you can simply go ahead and turn it on i'm going to show you some really great examples that make google bad extremely useful okay so to start a new chat just click on this new chat option right here and it will take you to the home page so you are going to type in your prompts over here. You could also upload images and you could also click on this microphone icon to speak your prompt into bad. Let's check out other options. Look at this, under settings here, you have the light team and the dark team. Right now, I'm using the dark team. That's why mine looks like this. But I can still click here to switch it over to light team. And you can click here to check your bad activities. You could also click here to refresh your sample prompts. Now look at the center right here. These are sample prompts they are giving to you could actually click on any of these prompts. So for example, look at this right here, revise my writing. So I'm going to click on it so I can see the sample prompt that I've actually put here for me. So can you see right here, rewrite the text below to improve its writing quality flow, readability and coherence. Make sure to fix any grammar and spelling mistakes. So you can see that this is a powerful sample prompt. So with it, you can be able to master how to actually give the correct prompt to bad so you can get the best results. And you can go ahead to click on this icon right here to refresh sample prompts. So you can see that once I clicked on it, it's actually changed some of the sample prompts here. Currently, there are a lot of things you can actually use Google Bad for. For example, you can actually use Google Bad for writing your blog post and your social media content. So I'm going to ask you to write a blog post for me on three psychological habits of highly successful people. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. As you can see, it has actually generated the blog post for me in just a few seconds. Like one fantastic thing I love about Google Bad is that it generates response in just a few seconds. Like it's very, very fast. It's super fast. So you can see that it actually generated a very wonderful blog post for me. And basically, I actually use Google Bad for this purpose. I use it to generate blog posts for my clients. Now, when you click on this drop down arrow, you can see that it has about three drafts. That's another great thing about Google Bad. It will provide you with three different drafts. So you can just go ahead and read through them and then select the best one you like. You can see that in the introduction of the first draft and also the introduction of the second draft, it took the intriguing question approach. But in the third draft, it took the storytelling approach. So I personally prefer the third draft. Go through all the drafts, then select the one you like. Sometimes I even combine all of them together, right? Because you can find something that is very interesting in the first draft and then you find another one in the second draft and then in the third draft. Just go ahead to combine them together to get a very unique blog post so that is one great feature about google bad i personally love using you could also use google bad to generate your social media content let me show you an example now look at the prompt i've given it but look at this right here i always like to tell it without using promotional content it actually generates something that is more relatable and more interesting for my audience so i'm going to go ahead and submit it as you can see, it has generated the social media content for me for Instagram caption, right? To sell a lady's gown. And you can go ahead and click on this drop down arrow and then you see different drafts. Look at it here. Can you see that? So you can just go ahead and go through it and just select the one you actually like. So you can see that you can actually use Google Bad to generate your social media content. No matter the platform it is, whether it's Twitter or Facebook or Instagram caption, you can use it to generate your TikTok video scripts and even your YouTube video scripts. Now, if you want to delete your chat, just simply go over to the chat you want to delete. Click on these three dots beside it and then you're going to see the delete option. You can rename it or you can even pin it to the top of your chat. Let me now show you this really great feature that will help you to actually use your Google Bad with YouTube. So let us go over to this extension icon right here and then you're going 
going to scroll down make sure that you turn on this extension for youtube just use the slider to turn it on so there are a couple of things you can use the youtube extension to do let me just show you a quick example on how to use it now once you turn it on just go ahead and click on this new chat icon to open a new chat if you look at the center right now you will see that there is this sample prompt on how to research a topic on youtube so i'm just going to go ahead and click on it so i can see the sample prompt now you can see the sample prompt so you can actually ask google bad to actually find you some youtube videos to actually help you to do any tasks you want so let's say for example you want to bake a cake so i'm going to remove this one i have actually put here i want to bake a vanilla cake so you can see i actually edited the prompt to actually suit what i want to use it for so i said i want to bake a vanilla cake find me youtube videos of how to bake it and then you are going to put at then the extensions will come up and just simply select the extension that you want to actually use for it so i'm going to select youtube then i'm going to submit it as you can see it has pulled up five videos from youtube look at all the videos right here about five of them and it still gave me their video links and even their channel names like how incredible is that so i can go ahead and watch the videos here but you hit on this play button it will start playing the youtube video for me or you could just say summarize the first video and give me the recipe and you should just list the recipe for you so you can see that google bad actually have really useful features that can actually help to speed up your workflow so go ahead and try it out if you found this video helpful then you can consider clicking on the video on the screen right now to watch the next video and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this